All right, so I had to make another video because it'll be super, super long and some parts of the video can be missed and um, we don't want that. So let's continue reading in page 177. The people of the towns and villas around Mount Vesuvius were surprised by the eruption. Some residents of Pompeii took their animals and tried to leave the area as soon as possible. Others hid in rooms believing that the ashes and poisonous gases could not harm them there. People who left the area after the first rain of smoke and ash had a chance to stay alive. Those, were, those who were not able to leave, however, did not survive, unfortunately. They were killed by falling buildings, buried by the search of mud and rocks, or poisoned with toxic volcanic gases. Their bodies were quickly covered by the volcano's mineral deposits, which blanketed Pompeii in a larger, in a layer more than nine meters thick. Wow. So, hubo gente que se fue, hubo gente que se quedó, los que se quedaron, desafortunadamente, pues no salieron vivos de allí. Este murieron mucha gente entre falling buildings este edificios que se caían eh, los ashes los gases este tóxicos mucha gente murió y dice que muchos cuerpos fueron cubiertos por eh, nueve metros de una capa gruesa o sea una capa gruesa de nueve metros son es muchos este entre piedras eh, Ashes, eso es este, ceniza. All right, um, let's continue reading. Though the population of Pompeii at the time of the eruption was estimated to be somewhere between 10,000 and 25,000, it is not known how many people died during the tragic event. The Romans were used to rebuilding the cities around the Bay of Naples, even after the worst earthquakes, which destroyed many towns in the area. But Pompeii was never rebuilt after the eruption in the year 79. Over the years, the memory of Pompeii faded and even the town's location was eventually forgotten. So, este, después de este asunto, después de lo que sucedió, eh, no se sabe exactamente la cantidad de personas que murieron. Obviamente, se calcula entre 10.000 a 25.000, pero no se sabe exactamente. Eh, y después de esta erupción, pues ya no volvieron a construir la ciudad. ¿Se acuerdan que anteriormente sí? Pues ya después de esta no. Dice, after Pompeii was buried and lost to history, Mount Vesuvius continued to erupt every hundred years. Then the volcano slept for 600 years before it began a new destructive phase. So, ya no volvieron a construir más nada. La ciudad quedó um, buried, eso es, enterrada. Este, y volvió a erupcionar el, el monte de Subio cada um, 100 años, hasta que se quedó dormido por 600 años. Y volvió otra vez a erupcionar, corrido, corrido, corrido. Um, during that period, Pompeii lay hidden. Then in 1748... Then, in 1748, workers accidentally discovered the ancient city while they were rebuilding a nearby town that had been damaged by a recent eruption. By the time Pompeii was found, the city looked very different than it had hundreds of years before. All that was left of Pompeii was a collection of ruins covered in solidified ashes and mud. So, mucho tiempo después, o sea, cientos de años, miles de años después, en 1748, unos trabajadores que estaban trabajando en, en una, ¿verdad? En, en reconstruir un pueblo cercano, encontraron accidentalmente este, las ruinas de Pompeya. Eh, ¿Verdad? Y todo estaba cubierto de ashes y mud. Eso es fango y ashes son... Cenizas, cenizas solidificadas. Mount Vesuvius itself also went through many changes during that period. It was no longer a fertile mountain surrounded by crops and vineyards. It had become a plain, bald, and dangerous vol volcano. Even its 
peak had taken a different shape due to the force of its many eruptions. So ya no era esta ciudad, este lugar hermoso, eh, con muchos jardines y viñedos, sino que ya era un sitio plano, nos dice, eh, y peligroso, ¿verdad? Por, el, por los volcanes y todas las erupciones, inclusive el tope de la montaña cambió eh, su forma debido a las muchas erupciones. Workers, continuamos, let's continue, workers, discovered the ruins of Pompeii in 1748, nearly 1,600 years after the city was buried. However, it took another 300 years of excavations before the city was finally revealed. So, ahí la descubrieron, casi uno se quedó enterrada, pero tomó otros 300 años para que la excavaran y toda la ciudad fuera revelada. Excavators excavators found that the ash that fell on Pompeii during the eruption in the year 79 had presents jars and other decorations that helped them learn about the Romans from thousands of years ago they even found bakery ovens and loaves of bread nearly 2000 years old wow so la todo esto que cayó encima de la de la ciudad ayudó a preservarlo en cierto modo porque cuando empezaron a, a excavar, encontraron monedas, joyas, pinturas, jarrones, decoraciones, inclusive pan de casi 2000 años de viejo. Wow. Around 1500 remains of bodies. Were also found around the city. However, scientists believe that many more people were affected by the eruption of the victims found 38% were found in areas where a lot of ash had fallen it is believed that almost that most of these victims died when the roofs of the buildings were other 62% of the remains found at Pompeii were in the deposits from the pyroclastic surges today only three-fifths of the city has been freed from the solidified volcanic ash eh, descubiertos han sido ¿verdad? liberados de toda esta um, restos solidificados ever since the ruins of Pompeii were found Mount Vesuvius has erupted a last big eruption came in March 1944 that eruption destroyed four villas and 88 bomber planes in World War II So, después de, el, de ese 1906 que destruyó bastante de la bahía de, Na, de Nápoles, eh, y en 1944 dice que hubo una erupción bien fuerte. Mount Vesuvius has not erupted since 1944. Over the past few hundred years, the volcano has been 